Here we go, weather for Weather Geeks time on this uh, Wednesday evening. Hope you enjoyed a pretty nice afternoon. Uh, we had a mix of sun and clouds. Uh, temperatures were a little on the cool side compared to the average, but all things considered, hey, not bad. It didn't rain. We did have measurable rain this morning before sunrise, so it was not a dry day from midnight to midnight, but you get the idea. It turned out to be a pretty nice day today, uh, and we'll have a nice evening as well. Uh, notice a little haze on the satellite picture this evening. This is actually smoke from the wildfires way up in western Canada, and this uh, is mixing with the clouds across southern Ohio, much of the southeast, and back into the Tennessee Valley as well. You can trace this all the way up into western Canada, the jet stream dragging it down like this. It's not really uh, noticeable in northeast Ohio. It's more of a, of a southern Ohio thing uh, this evening. Uh, we do have a full moon coming up tonight. Uh, this is known as the, uh, the Thunder Moon or the Buck Moon. These have uh, Native American origins, these names for full moons. So two names for this one, the Thunder Moon because uh, thunderstorms, of course, are common at this time of the year. The full buck moon, because uh, July is apparently the month that uh, that uh, young bucks get new antlers. Uh, so I'm sure the hunters out there know better than I do, but uh, but that's the reason for those names. So full moon tonight. Also tonight of interest, uh, Venus and Jupiter in the western sky. After about 9.15, that's your best chance of... Uh, of checking this out. Hopefully the clouds clear in your area, but by 9.15 it's dark enough that you can easily pick these out in the western sky. Uh, Venus will be on the left, Jupiter on the right, very, very close together. So some cool things to check out in the sky uh, this evening. Uh, temperatures today struggled. We got into the mid-70s, 74 officially today. 81 is par for this time of the year. Where's the heat? Well, it's out west in parts of the Plain States and out into the southwest as, as well. But uh, that sort of 90 plus heat that we can oftentimes see in July, not looking likely in the foreseeable future. Um, what is looking likely in the foreseeable future is, believe it or not, some nice weather. Boy, do we deserve it. Uh, let's take a quick tour of uh, the next few days here. Not much to show you really in the near term. This is tomorrow. High pressure up to our north tomorrow, and this high pressure zone is going to deflect the moisture to the south, so this old front will bring some rain to Cincinnati, Louisville, Charleston, but not this far to the north uh, for tomorrow. Then on Friday, the uh, GFS model here is showing in the afternoon. A little bit of green trying to sneak up. I, I think this is mostly along the spine of the Appalachians over here. I doubt much happens in eastern Ohio. So uh, some clouds Friday afternoon, but we're going to keep the forecast dry for Friday, despite what the GFS is saying here. The other models are not really singing that tune. And then, of course, the all-important 4th of July coming up on Saturday. Again, uh, an untrained eye might look at this and say, ooh, it might rain Saturday, but I think this is just the GFS showing us a few fair weather clouds. I do think that there could be some moisture, again, trying to sneak up the spine of the Appalachians, but really don't think we're going to see anything at this point back in northeast Ohio and far western PA. So you should be able to enjoy a great 4th of July. Uh, great for fireworks displays. The Youngstown downtown one at the Covelli Center is actually Friday evening, uh, but a lot of fireworks displays, of course, are Saturday evening. I really do think that the weather will be just fine. And then Sunday looks gorgeous. Uh, wrapping up the holiday weekend with high pressure almost right overhead. It looks like just a sunny, beautiful day. Warm temperatures, pretty close to average for early July. And actually, I think we're going to stay dry, it looks like, through Monday. Uh, this is Monday. The moisture is still off to the west, and that could head our way on Tuesday. Just before I recorded this, I did uh, tweet out and put on Facebook a little tidbit here of information. Uh, it's been since October uh, since we've had uh, five consecutive dry days here in Youngstown. So uh, it's been a long time. We, we need the break for sure. And hopefully tomorrow and Monday or tomorrow through Monday, our forecast will pan out a dry one uh, for the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. Our, our yards are just sponges. We need to dry out. A uh, quick look at the longer range. I'm going to talk about uh, the July forecast in a weather blog post this evening on ericwfmj.com. But here's the uh, climate forecast system July temperature anomaly map. Difference from average, in other words. Looks like a cooler than average July for much of the heart of the country. Warm in the west, warm in the southeast. Around here, I think it, odds favor being close to or a little below average for temperatures this month. If it's below average, I doubt it's by a whole lot. Precipitation-wise, might still be a little above average here or near the average, but not nearly as much as June, unless something remarkable happens like we get huge thunderstorms that train over the airport or something like that. Uh, but it really does look like uh, July will be not a dry month, but a less wet month than June. Again, some good news in the longer range. More on that coming up 
on my weather blog this evening. Anyway, I hope you have a good Wednesday night. Thank you for checking out Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. As always, you can uh, find fresh updates on the weather and on astronomy and anything else science on my social media sites uh, on Facebook and on Twitter. I will see you tonight on 21 News at 11.